Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to change your brunette into a blonde. Now, there are many ways to do this in Photoshop. However, I found that the way shown in this tutorial offers you the most control. So let's begin. To save time, I already drew a selection around the hair. If you're using CS5, I'd stick with edge detection in the Refine Edge feature. I did another tutorial about Refine Edge, so I won't go over that in this tutorial. Press the letter Q to change the quick mask into a selection. With the girl layer active, press Ctrl J or Command J on a Mac to cut the selection of the hair out and place it on its own layer. Press on the Layer Mask button to make the selection into a layer mask. Now that we have the hair and its layer mask on its own layer, we're going to change the hair with some adjustment layers. Click on the Adjustment Layer button and click on Selective Color. The Selective Color window immediately opened. It will make a Selective Color adjustment layer above the hair. In order to make an adjustment layer only affect a layer below it, hover your mouse or pen in between both layers while pressing Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac. Notice the adjustment layer will indent to the right. This tells you that it's only going to affect the layer directly below it and not affect any of the other layers. We're only going to change the settings in the neutral and black layers. We'll click on the neutrals box and change the cyan to minus 37, magenta to minus 21, yellow to minus 13, and black to 18. Since photos can and will vary in hue, saturation, brightness, and contrast, the numbers we're assigning to this photo will probably be different from yours. However, the process is the same. We'll go to the black box, which is the lightness and darkness control, and we'll change the cyan to minus 24, magenta to minus 21, yellow to minus 4, and black to minus 28. Let's change some of the levels now, so we'll click on the Adjustment Layer button and click on Levels. Once again, hover your mouse or pen in between both layers while pressing Alt on a PC or Option on a Mac. The Levels Adjustment window is open, so we'll change the Midtones to 1.33 and the White to 210. We'll slide the Output Level from 255 to 226. We're going to tone down the vibrance and saturation of the hair. So we'll create a vibrance adjustment layer. We'll slide the vibrance down to minus 20 and the saturation to minus 20 as well. Let's finesse the brightness and contrast a little bit so we'll create one more adjustment layer. We'll click on the adjustment layer button and then go up to Brightness and Contrast. We'll slide the brightness to 10 and the contrast to minus 50 all the way to the left. So let's take one more look at the before and after. As you can see, we changed brunette into blonde while retaining the highlights, midtones, and shadows of blonde hair. From platinum to strawberry, you can make the appropriate adjustments to get exactly what you want using the adjustment layers we used. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.